Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to derive the expression for the gate width T of a monostable multivibrator. In the previous video, I have given you the explanation of collector coupled monostable multivibrator uh, with a negative triggering pulse at base 2 of transistor Q2. Because we have assumed a stable state like Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state. As the second transistor is in on state, we are applying a negative going pulse at the base 2 of the transistor. That makes the transistor comes into off state. But that was a only for small duration. That duration we are going to calculate how much time that the transistor is in unstable state. Okay, that is called gate width. Okay, so gate width, I will write the definition gate width gate width t is the time taken by gate width t is the time taken by monostable multivibrator monostable multivibrator to stay in quasi stable state quasi stable state that is the meaning of gate width t so okay so that means after the application of negative triggering pulse how much time the transistors taking the time to get back into the stable state okay so where it depends on it depends on the capacitor charging of the voltage up to a v gamma voltage so at this particular point, suppose if you see this waveform, at this particular point, I am applying a negative going pulse. This negative going pulse makes the transistor, makes the transistor Q2 off. So when Q2 off, see the voltage comes into VCC. Previously it was VCC set, but when the transistor is in on state, again there is a maximum voltage VCC. This voltage applied to transistor B1, uh, Q1 at base 1, then the transistor comes into on state. when Transistor Q1 comes into on state, capacitor C charges. Okay, I have already shown and explained this particular concept in the previous video. When the capacitor charges, it charges like this. Okay, and when it reaches the V gamma potential, minimum voltage required to make the transistor Q2 on, immediately Q2 comes into on state. Okay, so this particular width from here to here, it is nothing but your gate width T. This is what you are going to calculate. Okay. So during the period 0 less than T less than T, that means in this particular period, the base voltage Q2 can be calculated as for 0 less than T less than capital T. In that particular duration, the base voltage, the base voltage of Q2 is vb2 is equal to see, how can you calculate for the capacitor voltage to charge we know one formula in the previous uh, videos when discussing the low pass and high pass i told you v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc take the same v final what is the final voltage up to which the capacitor has to charge plus vcc okay v final minus v final this is the v final and v initial what is the initial voltage i told you previously it was vcc across uh, the collector but now the vcc voltage has dropped to vcc minus i1 into r okay i1 into r1 i have taken it as r1 so now v final minus v final minus v initial value is vcc minus i1 into r1 e sorry this is e power minus t by rc so t by tau t by tau but i1 r1 is equal to vcc minus vc set i1 r1 see previously it is vc is at if you take this difference between these two we see we can write it as i1 r1 is equal to vce vcc minus vce is at so because 
because at t is equal to 0 minus that means before just before this instant vc1 is equal to vcc and at t is equal to just after t equal to 0 that is nothing but t plus vc1 is equal to vce sat so vb2 is equal to now substitute this value here vcc vcc cancel and vcc minus vce sat vcc minus vcc minus it is vb sat sorry this is vb sat vb sat minus i1 into r1 what is this voltage vb sat this particular value is vb sat okay so vb sat minus i1 into r1 vb sat so it is VBE sat. VBE sat minus VCC minus VCE sat. I1 R1 just now I have set it as VCC minus VCE sat. Whole into E power minus T by tau. So if you simplify that, you will be having VCC minus 2 VCC minus VBE sat plus VCE sat e power minus t by tau. So at t is equal to capital T, what happens VBE sat now VBE 2 at particular uh, transistor Q2 it becomes V gamma then V gamma is equal to VCC minus 2 VCC minus VCE sat plus VBE sat into E power minus T by minus capital T now at T is equal to T minus capital T by tau so e power t by tau our aim is to calculate this particular t e power t by tau is equal to 2 vcc minus of vce sat plus vbe sat divided by vcc minus v gamma therefore you can write it as t is equal to capital T by tau is equal to ln of e power that goes on to the other hand ln of 2 into vcc minus vce sat plus vbe sat divided by 2 all divided by vcc minus v gamma therefore we can write t as tau ln of 2 plus see ln of a log of a into b here it is separated as log a minus log b so log l tau ln 2 plus tau into ln of VCC minus of VCE sat plus VBE sat divided by 2 divided by VCC minus V gamma. So normally for a transistor at room temperature the cutting voltage is the average of the saturation junction voltages for either germanium or silicon so v gamma is equal to vc sat plus vbe sat by 2 
okay it is the general condition for either silicon or germanium the gamma voltage is the average of these two voltages so neglecting the second term in the expression of this t see here vb vc is at plus vb is at by 2 is nothing but v gamma so vcc minus v gamma by vcc minus v gamma both cancel together and it becomes only therefore tau is equal to what happens tau ln of 2 tau ln of 2 that is tau what do you mean by tau see here what is the meaning of tau tau is nothing but time constant for the capacitor to charge through which the capacitor is charging in the transistor in the transistor circuit diagram see suppose if you take the transistor circuit diagram in the previous video capacitor is having a charging path through this resistor r this is r and this is c it is the voltage connected this is vcc okay it is having now current through this like this this is the i1 current so as this current is flowing through this one the time constant is r into c time constant is r into c so tau is equal to r into c so in the previous expression t is equal to tau into ln2 i think but r into c into ln2 so what is the uh, value of LN, uh, logarithm natural logarithm of 2 0 0.693 so 0 0.693 into rc this is the value of gate width in the monostable multivibrator so in the monostable multivibrator the time for the quasi stable state is 0 0.693 times the time constant rc okay this value is very important in problems you may you may be asked to calculate what is the value of gate width for the specific parameters okay this is about the gate width calculation this is gate width gate width okay thank you